Nah, like, yeah, though. Me about this <laughs> one. I ain't even like these. Oh, I ain't man. like them, but I like them. I, I just think that unnecessary price. Like they said, fuck the Tim's. Get the Tim's. Like, then, then, the then, uh, the then they said, like, then they said, like, they had some. I think he, I think uh, Kanye came out with some premium Crocs, and he sold them for like what six hundred dollars. Kanye come out with and a, sold out them giant with a tank top. It's all white. <laughs> and sold <laughs> out. So, Looking like a homeless sleepy person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, for real. So though. yeah, though. Hey, nah. shout out to Sean Bryce too. Y'all, y'all seen the interview? Shout out Sean with Bryce. The, uh, what's the two of you guys? Queens Flip. Yeah, Flip. Yeah, that was a tough they interview. They said that interview was like that. It man. was like that. You can see it, so. They said that interview was like that. They said I that was better than the one he did with Yeah, Vlad. nah, it definitely was. I fuck I with it. I just felt like I just felt like culture vulture. Yeah, you with your people, way. you gonna be more comfortable anyway, though. Yeah. yeah. But I just felt like in that situation, like we keep DC situations in DC situations. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he it's that was like. It's like that's how he coming up now. You know, he was in jail forever. His story is making him like money. His book, every his whole aura, like his. It's not a. He got a book out, so he got to do press. He and look, press you don't come across too many solid like old heads from the city. A lot of them was even dead. Yeah, a lot of them. You don't that come story. like really think about how many solid old heads from the city that you can't call a rat. That was like like stood on, on some malls and shit that you could actually see on your internet and TV. You always well, see not, you always see old head from New York. Yeah, from, he looked good. He, 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 his, OT, he was OT. preserved for his age. You wouldn't never be able to tell how his old stories. he was because he he's preserved. Like, and then we need our we need our like to come like for real for real. You know we know everything about New York from the from the gangsters from the forties the thirties the forties fifties. Man, we our history crazy, but this just the time where it's like everything from the DC is about to be magnified. I, I, I'm from pretty the rap sure. Music to the rappers. We to need the, our own. We need our own like pay the fool. Yeah, movie, but the, and now I'm glad you said that. I'm glad y'all said because when they did pay the fool, because remember when yeah, the camera man. played Alpo, be the fish he was like DCB. City. I'm telling you, DC was where is that. Somebody should have capitalized off of that because those two stories are synonymous with one another. Yeah, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like that could have been a not necessarily a sequel, but then you get the whole story. So when people see, oh yeah, I ain't gonna, I'm not telling nobody in my hometown, but I give you some cats out DC doing their thing. Like y'all need to tell the story of the men that was affected by that. And spin it. Yeah, that would have been DC. big. And like we need like more direct. Right. Anybody out here make movies or whatever. It's never too late to do a movie like the story. And it's people out oh, here mean, that you can reach out to. Kurt Bone's still alive. You can talk to Kurt Bone. Yeah. It's people. You can talk to Sean Branch. It's people around that you can get the real stories from. And you know what I'm saying? It's more than that. But yeah, I'm just saying, like actors that's from the city yeah. and like really make it like authentic. Like it ain't too many movies like Boys in the Hood that type. If somebody from the city really like be like, all right, I'm gonna be that. Director that every that produce that whatever and like really make stories from like past DC yeah. and shit like you look a Rafael Edmond Jones or yeah. you can Put do so go much go in there the and all that because like, they pulling up to to where used to pull up back then uh, uh, Florida Avenue was it Hogates? yeah but it's the eighties and nineties little yeah, era you pulling up to a certain spot like everybody gonna be like damn Hogates. that's that that make so much money Slim somebody hop on it you need right. to hop on it. Listen, somebody need to do it. Hold on, because oh, y'all don't really understand how important this conversation is, right? Yeah. When DC become a gentrified, we don't know what the ratio of, you know what I'm saying, us to them is going to be. You feel what I'm saying? And when I say us, I don't mean black and white. I mean the impoverished and the and the more, you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. The, the upper middle class, the you know upper class, like if they push us out, we are the culture. We are DC culture. I be hearing people say stuff like DC don't have an accent or DC don't do Who told y'all that? Like, we do got an accent. We got our own slang. We got... We have things here that's like us. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, and somebody got to tell our it's story. It's so it is so ingrained in us that our top rappers rap with a bounce beat for real. Like, you ever hear some of Hooli and Savage and everybody? Even our beats, they like bounce beats. We don't ever think about it because it's like ingrained. But right. really, listen to Chicho yeah, and Chicho, that all these Chicho. other producers and these rappers like Savage. Hustle. And the, they rap like a little bounce beat. Like it's like a. Mm-hmm. That's like that too. It's like just in it. It's like it in like the that. water. Like. Really nah, even Chicho even say it, like I'm influenced by the Go Go culture, you know and that's saying? why a lot of the rappers that came from the Go Go bands is successful. Like, even the younger ones that don't know nothing, they about 16, 15, 17, The younger ones that came yeah. after the Go Go era, they still got a little bounce to them. Yeah. Even though they dance, like that's in us. We just got to bring it out for real. Yeah, facts, man. Nah, no questions. Hey, hold on. Let's shift gears real quick. You did a verses, man. You did a verses. Okay. You went um. 
was it Hustle Firm? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fat Ye. Yeah, one hundred. That was your set too. Yeah, who won? Who they pick? Who did? How did y'all pick the winners? Who won? I was just going by what the people said. A lot of people I mean, said. People a lot say? of people said that uh, one hundred won the. Uh, against Fat Ye. Yeah, against Fat Ye. They pick against Medusa. Uh, uh, they Murray pick Murray Row. Murray Row. I'm just going by with the people. Yeah. That's you know what I'm but I think, I think, but I, I was messing with Medusa, but I think Medusa's joint was just more industry like, you know what I'm saying? Medusa and then, dog. and then, and then Murder joint was just straight, strictly straight, for the streets. Yeah. Like, straight, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I like the whole everything that Medusa pushed with the young queens and stuff like that, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, her music is versatile, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But you know, if you're doing a bad, I think you got, when you're doing the verses, the people's styles got to be more. Yeah, yeah. That's I, I didn't was, think they were similar yeah, to me. She do more, yeah, she her song like she got more songs. That's like it's not necessarily like I'm rapping, rapping. Yeah. It's more like melodic and you know what I'm saying. Yeah, people wasn't knocking. Nah, I know music, they wasn't doing that. They wasn't knocking saying, her like, music. It was just it's like, hard to compare the two because if you asking people to pick. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. gonna go with the. I would have did like Medusa versus Killer Keisha or something like that. Like that's no. nah, you should do that's Murder Monroe oh, against. Murder. I mean, no, 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 no. I meant that's that's what I meant to say. I said yeah. Murder Monroe versus Killer uh-huh. Keisha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. I, I slipped up on that one. But like, yeah. And as far as the, the 100, uh, what's the name? I feel like yeah, Fat Ye ain't pull out his hit hits yet. You know what I'm saying? His joints that did numbers and shit. You know what I'm saying? He pulled out a couple of them joints, but I felt like it was some songs, even some songs that wasn't like big music videos that did like the 200, 300 thousands. Right. It was some songs like one song that everybody was craving was uh, Rich Junkies. I, like that's my favorite joint for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it was little joints like that. Like he should have brought out some heavyweights that like people was rocking with in the streets. You know what I'm right saying? Now. Hey, Young Mo dropped that joint with Kevin Gates. That, yes. that video was. It's probably a half a million on that. Knocking out my niggas on the VA. Hey, shout out my VA, man. AVA. They had you in the trenches. Nah, huh? They had you in the trenches. Man, hey, bro, I swear. Like, bro, I just did two interviews down there. Shout out my boy. Shout out my man. Shout out my man. <laughs> 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 curry. <laughs> That's somebody when he was fat, she wasn't the curry. She wasn't curry gay. Fat or not, I'm all in. Mm-hmm. Really? He lost that weight, though. He, he, t- he, he was not a he fat, lazy up. nigga. I was telling you, it's different kinds of fat men. It's ones who don't want to just be like that. Then some just be comfortable being like that. You he wasn't a shot. You trying to say he fat, lazy, dude? Yeah, like, I, I, I felt like he was just taking a shot. Like, you think I'm just a fat, lazy dude? No, but are you? Huh? Are you? you uh, no, nah, I felt like there were some shots. I mean, do I work <laughs> out? I felt like it was a shot. Do you work out? Huh? Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> always say, "Oh, we don't want you." How you get here? Anyway, 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 me at the gym. So yeah. how often hmm? is this a part Probably of your like life? Yeah, like oh, I got I got banned from one of my gyms. So I can't wow, from what did you do? Huh? Because my mask kept falling on my nose. Fuck, fuck that girl that playing the fitness on at, at Pennsylvania Avenue. <laughs> I fucking hate you. The fuck you talking about? Yes, because he this, needed to lose. Nah. Hey, why are you playing with a man? His health, put his health on the line. You know what I'm saying? Like, like hey. we just put it like this. My my weight go up and down, especially now since the quarantine and shit. I, I I I gained a lot of weight during quarantine, so you know, but, you know, I ain't worried about that though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, all them glizzies. I wouldn't yes. be, no, I haven't had a glizzy in like two months, bro. Glizzy. I don't eat fried chicken, but I eat glizzies. You know what I'm saying? I don't even eat fried foods. Good. I'm back on my fasting, intermittent fasting. You know what I'm saying? So would you eat a fried glizzy? Oh my gosh. I've done that fantastic. before. You ate a, a fried, fried glizzy? glizzy? A fried glizzy. Like, it, like, you're talking like about how you fry chicken? You ate a fried no, glizzy? No, I was oh. saying like how you fried chicken. It's like a... But I'm flour-based you... glizzy. Yeah. Like nah, a flour-based glizzy. Nah, but that don't sound like a bad idea. Crust. It's kind of like pigs in a blanket. Say that don't bacon. sound like a bad idea. Like a bad idea not like a corn dog, but like a, a fried I meant corn. I meant like corn a corn dog before. shape, but fried. Yeah, like a fried glizzy. Like fried I chicken. I wonder how that tastes. I even, it's like a french fry from real with a hot dog together. Yeah. Mm. I might have to put memo sauce on the outside ketchup. Like, going down the middle. See, it's okay for them. See, this is what I don't <laughs> like about the, the, the glizzy thing. This is how you know it's getting out of hand. When women be like, no homo, they about to eat a glizzy. Like, no, you're a woman. Like, it's not, nothing wrong with you. But I think it kind of because that's but that's like it's became that, such a thing of a bid that even women be more like yeah because you can even eat a nigga without them. But I think it's like I think I think, I think, I, I, think it's a, I think that's a boundary because you know how people be like oh that's like that's homophobic and stuff like that so it's be like oh no it's the bid for everybody it's I not just men. I hate how they hold. On, let's talk about that real quick. I hate how they try to do that. Somebody remember that somebody put out a post. Or they something. was just they were just talking on the internet. They were just they try to Twitter. take uh, Glizzy and say that it's like we made like it's a, a homophobic term or something like this. This mm-hmm. that and the third. Da, 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 da. Listen, man. First of all, I don't care who you are. 
if you not from here, leave us alone. Don't worry about yeah, what we're doing. Don't take not, a bid is a bid. Y'all, that, that LGBT, whatever community, y'all be too sensitive when it comes to search. So we don't even be bothering y'all. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you do, <laughs> no, enjoy yourself. No, Here we know y'all from nowhere. For real. Y'all it's live y'all life. Be happy. It's we are not mad at y'all. bothering us. But don't bother us. Like, let us have our fun. It's like, like this. Is the, is the gay dudes in D.C. and the DMV complaining? At all. They yeah. not. <laughs> They know it's a bed. And one of them check it, get offended, they knock him out. Yeah, I seen him at the go-go's all the time. They knock him out. Oh, oh God. <laughs> they almost knocked me out a couple times. You know what I'm saying? So it happens. But no, all seriousness, though, like, leave us alone. Like, don't try to uh, say what our slang mean if you don't know and redefine it. And I, because I be looking up the, the, when we Google, like, if you do the uh, definition things, mm -hmm. they be trying to change words that we made up and all. I don't like that. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like that. Come on, man. If y'all gonna take something from us, man, give homage, man. Yeah, pay homage. Yeah, pay yeah. homage, man. And in Philly, y'all acting up too. What, they back on the new balance? Yeah, thing? they acting up. They acting up. But I'm gonna tell you like this. I went to Job Court. Mm -hmm. Job Court 2009 to 2010. When I first went to Job Court, this one the 993s was. You five. went to Job Court in Philly? Nah, uh, Pennsylvania. It was oh. uh, Hazleton Drums. It was drums. Uh, you know, the main city around there is Hazleton, but it's mm -hmm. like a little small city. Keystone area, right? Keystone Job Court. So basically, I went there 2009 to 2010. Us, and I give Baltimore his props. They was wearing New Balances too. But as far as 993, before the 990s came out, we was rocking 993s in there. The Baltimore niggas was rocking the colorful 498s in there. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know what I'm saying? We was the main one. When we got there, Philly was clowning us for New Balances. They was trying to clown us. You know what I'm saying for the New Balances and stuff. You know, of course we, you know, we we, we spanked their ass too. We, we cooked their ass because their ass was wearing fucking literal tennis shoes. Like they was wearing motherfucker uh, uh 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 baseball shoes and shit. Like they was wearing some weird ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Running shoes, literal running shoes. Literal? Why you gotta keep saying literal? Literally. Like you know, like the corny looking. You like the corny looking uh. Like the, you know, like the corny yeah. looking new, new balances that be having like the different striped colors and yeah. shit. Like that's what they was rocking out. With, you know what I'm saying? Like 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 shit like that. So the whole time, I ain't seen not one Philly dude out there. I've been out. I got folks and fam out Philly. I was out there 2015. I only saw one person rocking new balances. You know what I'm saying? So we, let's cut that out, Philly. Let's cut that out, Philly. Come on, man. Give us our credit. Our credit is due. That's all we saying. If if, if, if new balance in Baltimore, Philly, New York, whatever. If that's a trend. Y'all can have the trend. Y'all can have it. Just pay homage where it came from. And that's for everything in our culture. No, nah, dead ass. Niggas laughing. Fine, baby. Down. Fuck on that. We deep ass serious. Give us our props. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. Y'all saw the go-go band out Philly. You know what I'm saying? Just give us our props. That's all I'm saying, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, who's the new speak, man? Yo, go ahead and see the car. Hey, look, quick shout-outs, you know. He put his hoodie on all that. Like, he just... Yes, he did a whole move. Mafioso or something. Like, oh, hey, look. Shout-out the museum. We all get... Look, I like this. We rapping, right? DC, look. What? Look at this back of his phone. He got all the right. heat. Hey. Voice of the streets. Voice of the streets. BDI. Hey, Oi Boy's legend. Hey, my farmers. I love this right here. I love this right here. I'm about to buy like three, four more pair of these, too. I got the collab more. I got the heat. For the Nero, I got that shirt, too, man. Yeah, we playing. So what? You ain't got my shirt. It's a one-on-one, on one, nigga. Oh, it's a one-on-one? On one. Right, you got, got your you. own. You ain't got my shirt. Yeah. Oh, Speaking man. of that, shout out to my good man, T. Well, boy, boy, Madness. Madness got a lot of good things coming up, so stay tuned, man. Yeah, yeah. That's, OG. That's, that's OG. That's that's OG Clover line. Like, yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, for support for Madness. Got some stuff coming, too. They got, he got some... He got some issues cooking up. I don't want to spill the beans, man, but he working, man. Yeah, shout out to all the DB clothing brands. Y'all keep shout out respect brand. Young is doing it. Put some respect on Young and that. Oh. That's a young black entrepreneur. I hate how y'all be like, y'all be Yo. sucking Cardi and all, all these Cartiers and all that. Man, you don't Bruh. even know them people. Oh, you don't man. even know who own that Bruh. company and all that. Stop downplaying somebody else because they didn't spy real Cartiers and all that like it matters because even if somebody did, they busted unemployment, they were scamming and jamming, now they can afford Cartiers. When before the COVID, you wasn't buying no Cartiers, you wasn't worried about no Cartiers. I ain't saying for the people who haven't. If you been having, this ain't for you. This the people who randomly, magically came up during the corona, now they having all yeah. of a sudden. And now they want to judge everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, support the black owned businesses because at the end of the day a lot of these people get their stuff from one vendor and they put their own little yeah Cardi is stack on it Cardi is probably don't even worth twenty dollars all the time facts if we talk about the original where they got the glasses from probably the they they host they get them wholesale so they might even get them five dollars per, per pair mm -hmm. 
and then taxing you fifteen hundred. So who's the real dummy? Facts. And I got two pair. I got what? I got brought four pair of respect brands. You know what I'm saying? You and know where the money going? Yep. Yeah. Going to a younger, straight out of man, shout out my man, little man Zay. I, let me tell y'all a story though. I went to, I, I, I worked right there in this hood. Sir, some called this Tyler house where he from. Worked right there. You know what I'm saying? Watch that man grow up from 10 to 16. That man always, that younger always been a hustler, always been grinding, always trying to figure a way to make some money to take care of his family. So if y'all can't respect that man, I don't know what to tell y'all, man. And he want to do it the right way. He ain't on the block trying to jug it up. You know what I'm saying? No, he trying to do it the right way because he. You will cultivate that. Because at 16, my mind ain't work like that. Mm -mm, I was playing sports. I was interested in sports and, you know, girls. I was doing good, pretty good in school. Like, I wasn't like, but, and I was hustling a little bit at that time. I wasn't thinking about how can I start my own clothing, you know what I'm saying, brand at 16 years old. And, I, and he been doing it since before yeah. he was 16, so ain't no telling when so he started. When he, the average kid, so whoever his parents are or whoever's around him, man, I salute y'all because yeah, for his man. mind to work like that, that means somebody raised Shorty right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know nah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I wish him much success. I want to oh, see him get a I'm brick and mortar store and online store yeah, and all that. Like, really turn it up. I, I realized, I remember when, he, when I was working there one time, he was like 11, 12 at the time, he realized I tried to buy a vending machine because he was like, we ain't got no vending machine in the hood. You know what I'm he saying? Told the story everything. Yeah, nah, for real. I love that, man. I love that little man, for real. And them, and them new jackets that's about to come out, them jackets crack. The joint with the respect passes. Yeah, I fuck with that. Don't never knock my little man. We back right here. So right here, we're going to have a little bit of a sports talk right here. So we're going to talk about what's been going on. You know what I'm saying? NFC East is dumpster juice. Terrible. Terrible. We, can't even, was just, we can't even talk about each other right now. Juice. We can't even be like the Redskins, the Cowboys, the Cowboys, the Cowboys, the Cowboys the trash. Dumpster juice. You know what I'm saying? The only thing we can say is we the first game we won, y'all lost. That's the only thing we can say. We but, look good. We thought we had a young quarterback ready on the come up. Defense is ball. Trash. He yeah. went from starter to not even third facility. straight to be sick, so go home. <laughs> but I mean, sh he want to start uh, Kyle Allen. Sh he's like Kyle Bowler out there. If y'all don't know what that is, look up Kyle Bowler. That boy. Then we really played. We had the nerve to play a man with one leg. Like, really think about it. Yeah, it's no other career, option. Man. Not even just end it, but like, he was like the great white hope or something. Like, I love it, but that Kaepernick out there, you got all these. Josh Johnson, anybody. We playing with guy who leg looked like how it looked. If y'all seen his leg, it's crazy. Like hey, it's a tremendous comeback story, but I wouldn't risk his health. What? Putting him behind that offensive line. Do we want to win? Did like, he play last game? He played. Yeah, because I don't know I got hurt. But Haskins do got to step up. He got to he had to step up. He was not looking good no matter what though, and he's still young, so he needed to be humble. As a coach, sometimes you got to break your players down to build them up. So it's always going to all be about how they respond. He even going to respond and 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 die from it, and you find, go to another next quarterback. What's going to suck? Oh, it's going to motivate him. To motivate yeah, him, he's going to be a dog because he got all the tools. As much as I hate the Cowboys, prayers up the Doc Doc uh, dislocated yeah. his um fractured dislocated yeah like both his ankle yeah they said it broke through the skin. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying. I hope, I hope he bounced back from that because this was a contract year for him. So it sucked. Black man, forget the football. Like yeah. that's up. I ain't gonna question. I got a question. If yeah, if, 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 if 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 people uh, consider bringing RG three back, would y'all bring him back? No. Nah. Yeah, right now. Yeah, because I mean, look at our options. I mean, we got Kyle Allen, sell money? and we got one leg. <laughs> we just play RG three and crushed him. Like I ain't interested. He in played when? He was the race. starter. He ain't the starter, but he played. He yeah, took him out. Time. And he, he, <laughs> we, we crushed him. Interceptions, sack. We, That's probably because well, nah, he, it's a whole new. It's we a done with RG like he ain't dropping back. In, Hold up, RG was starting. No, no, man, he, didn't start, he came in the garbage time like last five six minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We done with him. We just need we we go ahead tank for Trevor. We just missing that star quarterback. Add to the defense. You gotta give him a chance. Terry. If we do all that and we draft a quarterback, give the person. You can't draft a quarterback in the first round and not give him a chance. Think about Rivera. This the Jets gave Sam Donald a chance. But it's a new, it's a new everybody. Chicago gave Mr. Trubisky but a chance. They ain't draft him. They ain't draft Haskins. That's cool, but I mean, all maybe, that's the quarterback when you heard the organization. You gotta at least give him a, a one season to, to, to pass yeah. or fail. 
Man. Especially with this, we didn't have a preseason. Man, if you know him, so the yeah, first four games should have been like, all right, this preseason. Now let's see what you crazy do. I like Hass because I've always been a pro Hassan, but I, I'm a fan of my team for anything. If we can get Trevor Lawrence, you don't pass on that. No, you tell him, I if we could have got, uh, what's the young from the Chargers? He liked that. Oh, Justin Herbert? If we could have said, all right, you got Haskins, but you can get Herbert in this yeah. upcoming draft. Yeah. You're going to take that boy. So, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, shoot, you see what the uh, the uh, uh, Packers did with um, they drafted yeah, Love, Jordan Love. And they got Aaron Rodgers. They stashed him. They stashed him. He but learned they put though. fire on them, too. Like, yeah, they Aaron motivated. turned up. See, he, he's a different beast. What Kobe uh, commercials say? Uh, you the same. You, it's something. Are you the same beast? But we different. Something Speaking like of Kobe, that. shout out to the Lakers, man. I was just about to bring that up too. LeBron got man. four of them things now. You don't like LeBron? Man, you got real. I gotta give him respect. I get credit for credit, dude, man. You know. I like LeBron, man. LeBron I gotta does a lot for the people. Man. It's not LeBron. Okay. It's his fans. Oh. It's not LeBron, cause I grew up a Wizards fan. If I always said if I had a second team, maybe the Lakers, cause of Kobe. I'm a big Kobe. But it's the Bronx fans. On the first right. round every when he was in Cleveland, every time we made the playoffs, the crab walk every year too, spanking us. Man. Mm-hmm. I used to hate. I, is LeBron being my favorite player? I used to hate when we had to see him in the in the first round because I knew he was going on. epic. Though. But he got four now. So they can put him in the day. They, I, I don't know how they going. How you going to hush the goat talks? If he would have lost though, it would have been. Delicious. You think? We, 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 how many rings you think he should retire? You think he should go ahead for five? Yeah, he just he need to play he, until he can't play no more. Ain't no, there shouldn't be no limit on. Because I think, I think, they, I think he talking. I think he talking retirement talk though. Nah, retire, what? I don't know man. when you heard that. You, ain't nobody talking that, bro. Hell, I don't know. You I just brought that. Type of you just you took that out the your hat. Yeah, I hope that LeBron make it to where his son make the league and they can play on the same team. I never seen that before. I would like to see that. Then they can smoke Jays together. <laughs> with J.R. Smith on the side. Yeah, right there. y'all waited us at Casey. He got we the won. holes. We won. Wow. Wow. All them be fried. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, man, shout out J.R. Smith, yeah. He, 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 he's entertaining, yeah. He give you endless memes, yeah. <laughs> but, um, all right, man, that was a little, we touched on sports a little bit. Man, shout outs. Y'all got some shout outs? Shout out to this, bro. Yeah, man, Voice of the Streets. I know I shouted out before, but God, man, I love this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Voice of the Streets. Man, you took it off since you went to the go, though. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've been trapping this right now for three days, but I still, but I still, but I still been looking good with it. So, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. But now, shout out to my man, BDR, man. Old Boy's Legend, man. You know what I'm saying? Definitely got show. I'm about to buy, like, more pairs of these. Sorry, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Shout out to Genzel though with a cut though. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I'm gonna shout out to you right here. Right, I'm still showing love though. Show love right here. You know what he saying? get the. Right he talking about sports and then. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Genzel though, man. I don't know. Shout out to my mom. And um, I'm giving that one. <laughs> oh, he's doing shout outs. He shout out okay. his mama, yeah. Shout out my mama. Man, shout out my brother Sleep. Man, oh. shout out the whole Moolah gang. Rest in peace, Aguala, man. My condolences Ooh. to his friends and family. Hold on. We got to talk about this, though. Just just a brief conversation before we go, man. You know what I'm saying? We lost two well-known rappers. DTA do that and Aquala within the same 24-hour period. We didn't even get a chance to talk about the violence that was going on, man. Like, I didn't want to touch on that. I didn't want to. We're not going to touch yeah. too much into it, but just like six people. What? Not even six, but... It was six. Six homicides. Because one was a double. Yeah. It was more than six, though. Yeah, I'm just saying, it was in that window, it was like a small window where it was like six homicides, like right back to back to back. Wow. It's it was crazy, man. It's crazy. Um, Y'all just stay safe. You know how the fall, everybody, you know, when the fall season change, I don't know what it is, man. When the season change, but um, yeah, we lost two well known DC rappers, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, v Gang, if y'all familiar with V Gang, that whole generation right there, Aquala, uh, was it big? Was it Mitch? Yeah. Mitchie, like you know, what I'm saying they was the hottest coming up of the city. You know what I'm saying? Doing numbers that rappers, you know, at that time was just like you know you the hottest thing out here. Then we lost DCA do that. You know he had the well known song with uh, No Savage. That was a uh, that, that was building some steam. And then he had a couple of drinks. He had the the uh, the rock remix, the uh, plaid joint. Shorty my rock rock, but he, oh, he remix it. That's my Glock, Glock, Glock. Yeah, he had that joint. So he was building, they were both building up uh, some steam and stuff, man. You know, it's sad, though. You know what I'm saying? Sad situation. So could those sit down, man. Yeah, man. You know, buddy, keep your head up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Shout out all my good man. Man, free the real. Shout out all my homies on lockdown. 
I like I like the new system. Like I don't gotta go to Western Union. Niggas got cash app now, so they hit you from the feds. Like yeah, it's in that cash app. Like oh, alright, that's a bad. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make it easy. But you know, free the guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to everybody. If you rock with me, cause I'm I don't want to miss nobody names. If you support me, oh shout out Main and DMV. I did an interview this week on IG Live. I'm gonna do a uh, peace stew coming up next, man. Shout out Bird from Main and DMV. It was a great, great interview. I got to learn a lot about um, that organization and what she does with her conferences. And hopefully, um, 2021, uh, the COVID stuff is not as bad as it was in 2020. And she had a conference. It'll be around, like, March. Man, I'm telling you, it's dope. If you're a black-owned business, I don't care. But it, it rap, poetry, you make earrings, clothes, shoestrings, whatever you do. It was somebody named Reds who made his own mumbo. So I was like, Damn, he was good, there. Man, shout like, out my man Reds, yeah. I met a, Oh yeah, yeah, I was there. I was there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure was. We was supposed to do the one this year until the COVID hit. Yeah, man. It's Mumbo Soul's torch too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Capital City Curry out because that's black. Owned. I mean Capital. I said Curry out. Capital City Mumbo Soul and shout out Reds Mumbo Soul. Two black owned Mumbo Soul yeah, that I know fine. and they torch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fine. Um, yeah, but shout out, shout out, spending like I printed. Man, I've been doing DMV eats. Shout out Iggy, um, G Dot, everybody. Do, you know what I'm saying? Anybody did comedy with us, anybody artists, if you did shows with us, shout out all y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing but love on this end. Is that guy that's worth? Shout out to all y'all. I don't have all those shout outs. You know, I got a little nice little shout out. You know, you know, shout out to us. So, we're in a uh, league called the PYBL, stands for Pre Male Youth Basketball League. They're having a high school fall showcase. So it, is, it, it consists of 160 of DMV's top high school prospects. It's going to be live streamed to college coaches, media coverage, and everything. And I'm blessed to be able to be a coach in it with uh, Corey Bonds. So we got a nice little list of players. It's 16 teams. It's from a team Who's Mizzou. I know y'all know Who's Mizzou. Yeah, sure. Shout out to Who's Mizzou, the good man for real. That's so, yeah, yep. okay. so, okay. so he got his own team. Yeah, and I'm coaching on his team with Corey Bonds. So we got... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down the list of like eight players. We got Maurice Johnson, Mo from Caesar Chavez, average thirty, high score in the in the what DMV area I believe at thirty. He a beast, humble young enough. Mark Aiken, a shooter from Third Good Marshall. We got Kenny McCoy. We got Jazzy Trumbull from Roosevelt. They just won the championship. One of my favorite players to see hoop. Sorry they don't do too much, but he a hoop. He stepping the court mid range, trade ball, energy. He give you all that. Shout out to Jazz You got Kurt Smith. He coached by here at Gwent Park. He coached by Rod Gardner. He was at Friendly Wise. One of the great, great coaches. You got Terrence Webster Jr. from McKinley Tech. North East Side. You got Jaden Brown from St. John's. Real smooth hooper. You got Bryce Hawkins. And you got uh, Messiah Brown from Wilson. He's number five. Shorty like that. You can tell the good so real, they like always that. got them names. Them yeah, names. They names. Same, yeah. <laughs> Messiah Brown. Johnson. These love birds, man. Don't y'all mess these two together. Bruh. God, I, the comments. I can see the comments I mean, now. God damn. Who's I'm going to miss y'all comments. Seven, 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 I miss y'all, man. Like, all the like, faithful people that comment. I miss y'all. Y'all was They'll be saying. Never mind. They be. They be. Man, they, they like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the people that comment. Yeah, they like that. They like that. They like what? They like that. Oh, man. They be big. Y'all like yeah. they be big. <laughs> yeah, just, I do not crazy. like that shit. Yeah. Man, but shout out Smack Life, man. Hey. Shout out DMV yeah. Phillies, even though he's not yeah. here. But Smack Life is doing this. Uh, yeah. He filming this today, y'all. So, man, make sure y'all follow Smack Life yeah. on yeah. ENT. Good you know man. what I'm saying? Yeah. All YouTube, Instagram, all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Smack Life. You know what I'm saying? Or also, man, let y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Round uh, round two, the round two battle. You know what I'm saying? We be setting it up. Black Fortune say he looking for somebody. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know how serious 3 0 is. Real hosting. But, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you but, for real? Nah. Oh. But, yeah, yeah I am hosting. The Hoods and News team will be here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I will. So, I yeah. It. We is gonna be a part of this. It's gonna be a big partnership. So we gonna this this is definitely gonna be big. Oh, shout my man, man, shout out little Chris T O B man. We was rocking AJ last Tuesday, bro. Hey, bro, hey, bro. They took it back. They said, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Go ahead, come on, let it go. Come on, come on, Donald. He talking about.